To measure electrical conductivity and temperature in your sample, you have a meter like this. Now, electrical conductivity is a really useful measurement because it gives you an idea of the amount of stuff dissolved in the water. So electrical conductivity is a proxy for total dissolved solids. That tells us if we've got loads of ions in the water or not many. The way the meter works is at the bottom here, remove the cap, see there's two little prongs at the bottom. An electrical current is passed between those two prongs. If there's lots of stuff dissolved in the water, it's easy for the current to pass and you have high conductivity. If there's not much stuff, it's harder for the current to pass, so you have low conductivity. It's measured in a unit called microsiemens per centimetre. So when you turn your meter on, check that it says in the little window, zero micro S. So you'll see that as a little uh, a U with a tail on it for a mu. So that tells us that we're in the correct unit for measuring conductivity. Your meter may also measure in ppm or milligrams per litre as a measure of total dissolved solids. But these ones, the EC3, measure in microsiemens per centimetre. Before you start, make sure your meter's dry. Give it a little bit of a shake to make sure there's no other sample still clinging to the prongs. You may also wish to give it a little bit of a rinse. Then pop it into your sample give it a little bit of a stir and allow the reading to stabilise. You can press the hold button to hold the, the reading so that then you can read it more easily. And this reading here is giving me 261 microsiemens. The meter can also measure the temperature of the water, so pop it back in and press the temperature button. Again, Give it a few seconds to stabilise. Press the hold button and you can read the temperature, which today is a lovely 13.9 degrees centigrade. When you're finished, shake off the drips, wipe it down with a little bit of tissue, turn it off and pop the cap back on. Pop it back in the uh, packet ready for your next sample.